Sometimes the best thing when nobody asks you a question is not to answer. In this case, nobody asked the debt management office anything, but it had to go out and answer and reply to newspaper reports going around that Nigeria had defaulted on its loans to China. Now, that story is easily believable if you consider the fact that Nigeria borrows from everybody and pays back almost nobody on time and is more fond of paying penalties than uh, paying the actual fine. So the Debt Management Office has come out and has cleared that's not true. Nigeria did not default on any loan to China. Nigeria did borrow money from China, and Nigeria is using the money judiciously. Uh, if, we, if we look at how much Nigeria is owing, Nigeria said uh, debt to China stands at $4.1 billion. Uh, this is at September of 2021. The total debt to China is $6.5 billion. And what they are saying is that these are project tied loans. So basically, the money we borrow from China is tied to certain projects, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, if you're going to take a loan, you might as well use it for things that are going to boost your economy, right? So what are they using it for? New airports, railways, they said they are going to do um, Nigerian Railway Modernization Project, the Idu Kaduna Station, Abuja Light Rail Project, four airport terminal expansions in Abuja, Kano, Lagos, and Port Harcourt, the Nigeria Railway Modernization Project, the Lagos Ibadan Sector, and rehabilitation and upgrading of the Abuja Kefi Makodi Road Project. Now, these are um, fantastic projects, right? Um, I look at the Abuja Kefi Makodi Road project. If you don't know that project very well, it's, it's, it's a very important axis in the north. I mean, it crosses through the capital of Nasarawa, Lafia, and takes you all the way into Benue State. It also leads to a key junction where, if you're going towards Plato and Kaduna via Akangwa, you can turn there. Very nice, very fantastic ideas. Modernization of airports, yes, it's needed, not just for security and convenience, but if you're going to encourage people to do business in Nigeria, there have to be nice airports they can transit to when they're going from place to place. Makes a lot of sense. Railway lines, good way to take the markets to the people or the people to the markets or take the produce to the ports. Very nice ideas. So why am I not sounding very excited? Well, the truth is this. Even though those are project side loans, Nigeria is still getting a raw end of the deal from China. China is not silly. When the Chinese lend you money, the Chinese, the, the trains now come from Chinese companies. The engineering companies that build these railway tracks are Chinese engineers. The people that build the train stations themselves are the Chinese. So the Chinese loaned us money to hire them to do work for us. I don't know if you get that. I loan you money, but the condition is that I must do the job. So no problem. If I'm Chinese, I'll do the same thing. But when will we start being more sensible with how we collect loans and what we do with them? Um, His Majesty Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, former Emir of Kano, said something recently that struck me. He said that it sounds very nice, you know, I'm paraphrasing, to build railways. But what are we building them for? We're building railways to, from um, Katsina to Niger Republic. Is, is there an industry we are linking to a residential or a commercial to an industrial or agricultural center to agro-processing? That what are we linking? That we are building railways and building trains for people to attend weddings and naming ceremonies, which is largely true. Most of the movement on the trains have been almost like tourist, uh, so like say tourist behavior, quote unquote. We don't have trains that are moving cargo in the right direction. Let me give you an example. The amount of tanker accidents we have on the road and the amount of uh, the cost of moving fuel across the country due to insecurity, tankers getting stopped on the road, bad roads. Imagine how many tanks you can load on one train straight from Port Harcourt or Apapa straight to anywhere in the country. Then I'd understand building a railway line. Because one, the oil companies are going to patronize you. You know, there's a the haulage business going on there. And two, because there's private sector money interest there, maintenance will be very, very key. Which means that a lot of the maintenance will have to happen by private parties. I'm going to continue this series on everybody we're owing and why we're doing nothing with the money. But I, I guess um, for now, I'll just leave it at that.